Hi, it's your lively Liz Liz. So finally, I'm doing the talk and all the information about my teeth. So often, this has to be the most asked question I always get. Liz, have you bleached your teeth? Liz, what did you use to whiten your teeth? Liz, how did it feel like to bleach your teeth? Now, I must say, I have never bleached my teeth before. I haven't. Would I do it in the future? Yes, I will, when I get money. Because it costs you £600 for you to lie down in the chair for the dentist to get your teeth whitened or bleached. Too expensive, I'm still a student on the budget. So, for now, I obviously found an option that has helped me. I have tried all those toothpaste that they always say help. I've tried um, quite a few things to be honest because I really like nice teeth. Like I, I really just have this obsession with white teeth. I just love them. I always wish to have those Simon Cowell white grills. Obviously he had his bleach but I aspire to have my teeth like him one day. So, as I said, I've had this obsession since very young, as far as I can remember, really young. Even, like, when I look at someone, the first thing I look at is their teeth. Just because I like teeth, I'm fascinated about teeth. It's weird, but I just like teeth. Um, yeah, I'm not saying this is going to work for you. I'm not saying this is what you have to do. I'm not saying I'm scientific or nothing like that. This is what I just learnt when I was younger. I was about 16 when I... 16, 17, 18, I think I was at 17 actually, sorry, about 17 when I found this out and ever since then I've been using it but it's helped, it's not the best, it's helped and um, yeah I still wish to bleach and whiten my teeth in the future but as for now this is my easy cheap option that I use. What you need is either a lime or a lemon and you need bicarbonate of soda you can also use baking soda if you're wondering they are not the same thing but you can use baking soda for those that can't get bicarbonate of soda so these are the two things that I need and basically I make a paste out of them and I use that on my teeth like I said once a week and I do not have the whitest teeth in the world but they're decent so yeah, these are the two things I use and I'm going to show you what I do. Obviously you're going to need your toothbrush, either a lime, lemon, obviously you've cut them. And if you're a child, please get an adult to cut it for you so you don't have some missing fingers. And then you need your biocarbonate of soda or you can use baking soda, depending on what you like. So, or what you can get your hands on. So what I do is, I get a spoon, just a tablespoon, nothing's major not too much as you can see just a flat tablespoon of bicarbonate soda and i pour it onto my plate so then i crush it down because sometimes it can be a bit lumpy let me zoom in for you so mash it all down so it looks like that so choose whatever you like to use either a lemon or a lime whichever you can get your hands on today i'm going to use lime so you get your lime and you squeeze it onto your bicarbonate soda. And you're going to hear it bubbling because of this. It's obviously a citric acid based fruit. So it's reacting. That's what you normally hear. Is the acid in the lime obviously working together. So you leave it to obviously bubble down. And this is when you need your toothbrush. As you can see, I've got my nice cute toothbrush. So you leave the bubbles to go down and then it should form some kind of paste. And I believe it's probably um, a bit of the acid and a bit of the um, bicarbonate that helps to obviously get your teeth whitened. So obviously I've poured too much as you can see so it's bit watery instead of it being pasty so when this ever happens or if this does happen to you and a little bit more of your biocarbonate soda or baking powder whichever you use 
until it forms a paste don't let it be watery like i just made that mistake while showing you so let it be pasty so it looks something like this and that whistle noise is my makeup set <laughs> it seems to make noise so then you end up with a paste this is still a bit too watery but you then end up with a paste like this and this is what I use to basically brush all my teeth and I don't use it on my tongue I just use it on my teeth and then rinse it out rinse my mouth out with water afterwards so I'm going to demonstrate and show you how I do it and this may be quite messy but I'll show you after that you obviously go and rinse your mouth like I just did for those that may ask how does it taste I warn you it doesn't really taste nice I don't use the same toothbrush I use two, two toothbrushes one to brush my teeth and one for that mix um, I do it once a week only because I don't want it to damage my animal um yeah I'm not showing this video because I think I have perfect teeth because I am far from having perfect teeth I want whiter teeth and I want that Simon Cowell grill um yeah so that's all I do I just thought I'll share the information I didn't want to I wanted to make a video because so many people had asked me but I was quite surprised because I don't like my teeth I want whiter teeth but yeah I'm just gonna appreciate what I have with the lime you can squeeze the lime or your lemon into a bottle or container and keep it for later sorry that's my makeup set making that noise for later because obviously if you leave it out there it will probably go mouldy or go funny if not this is what I have learnt from being young I don't know if it's a Ghanaian thing or African I don't know a lime in half the other half which you don't use so if you want to throw it before you throw it away before you have a shower squeeze it and rub it underneath your armpit and it leave it for like a minute or two and then wash yourself after you, you may feel it sting if you have open scars or wounds or bruises do not do this but if you do that it helps you smell nice and refreshed if you have bo this will help for you i'm not saying everyone has bo and i'm sure most of you don't but just just a tip that i know when i since i knew when i was younger or my mum showed me to get that all in there so yeah, you can always use a lemon or you can make some lemon juice, whatever you want to use your lemons for. And yeah, that is everything. I hope everyone's well, fine, safe. And if you have any more comments, questions or concerns, just leave them down below. And I hope you all found this helpful. And if not, you don't have to do this. This is what people ask me to do, so I'm showing it to you. Enjoy the rest of your day and goodbye.